When you get a vaccine, you get something from the virus, and then you make your own antibodies. So in the case of a vaccine, you are the factory. You make them, and then you remember to keep making them, and that's why vaccines protect us for a long time. In this case, you're taking the antibodies that somebody else made when they recover, and then you're transferring them to a new person. So the new person gets them already made and can use them right away. Blood plasma is the liquid part of your blood. So if I was to take a sample of your blood, in it you got red cells, you got white cells, you got platelets, and they're floating on liquid. The liquid is the plasma, and that's where the antibodies are. The antibodies are floating in the liquid. Convalescent plasma has a long history. It's been used for 120 years. The first Nobel Prize was given for it. This is how back it goes. So even though it's encouraging, and even though it's optimistic, it needs to be tested for this coronavirus, simply because it's a new organism. So what I like to caution people is, yes, be optimistic, yes, be encouraging, but realize that today we still don't have the data to say clearly that this is going to work. Based on history, it can be used in two ways. It can be used to treat people that have the disease. And the idea there is that if you give them the antibodies, you will help their recovery. And it can also be given to people who don't have the disease to protect them from being infected. Those antibodies stay with you for a short while. So they do their job, but just remember that with time, you become vulnerable again. So you can either get another antibody shot or hopefully someday there'll be a vaccine. And social distance is probably the best weapon for defense that we have right now, not to get infected. Until we have a vaccine, until we have gamma globulin, until we have some antiviral compounds. But I do believe that we're gonna beat this. Humanity is gonna need layer defenses. You're gonna need you're gonna need to have antibodies, you're gonna need to have antivirals. You're going to need to have better protections and you're going to need a vaccine. And once uh, an effective vaccine is available and you can vaccinate large numbers of people, well, I, I'm a believer that we may be able to eradicate it.